Well, then tonight, a low score last week went up, but just barely. This is a popular spot for lunch in Uptown. That is where consumer reporter Bill McGinty begins tonight's restaurant report card. Yeah, hey there, everybody. If you're going to be heading out this weekend to maybe hit one of the area restaurants in town, do yourself a favor. Check the grade at that restaurant and then check the violations if it's below 95. You know, usually reinspections go a lot better, but this one didn't really go that well. The health inspector noted an overall lack of control throughout the kitchen. Items were not properly sanitized, and there was a black and pink buildup in the ice machine. Worst of all, the inspector saw the walls with cockroach droppings in the kitchen. Their score this week in 81, a low B. Now that is up from their C grade of 74.5 last week. Next up, a mouthful on Tuckaseegee Road. Some of their hot food wasn't so hot. In fact, in one case, it was 38 degrees cooler than what it should be. The chili and the chicken were well below 135 too. Their sausages, hot dogs, and slaw were all undated. The slaw had to be tossed out, and the inspector noted food debris and grease residue throughout the place on the floors and the walls. Their grade here, an 85, and that is a B. Last up this week, cork by Charlotte on Ashley Park Lane. Here too, the inspector noted no control over the important stuff, like cook temperatures, hand washing, cold holding, and date marking. All of those things, if done wrong, can make you sick. Employees were seen using their gloved hands to scratch their head, then handle raw food, then handle ready-to-eat food, without changing gloves and without washing. Their ice machine had that black debris on it too, so their grade here, a 90, which is still a low A. Yeah, sometimes I get a little pushback for putting A grades on the restaurant report card. But as we have shown you, week after week, sometimes A grades can have serious problems in the kitchen too. I'm Bill McGinty, NBC Charlotte.